The AS-01 was a fantastic gun and one of the favorites that I reviewed early on here on Red Wolf TV. You've seen us refer to it and use it as a great out-of-the-box standard when comparing it to other sniper rifles or bolt-action guns. Two years later, we are greeted with the AS-02, as seen right here. Now, can this guy live up to the meteoric rise that its predecessor has? And can it really create a space for itself in an already crowded marketplace full of bolt guns and other sniper rifles? I guess we're just going to have to find out in this episode of Red Wolf TV. What's going on guys, and here it is, the AS-02, and looking at this gun right away, it just strikes you as, wow, this is supposed to be a sniper rifle, and yes, well, more precisely, a scout rifle. Now, you may be wondering, what is exactly a scout rifle, other than the ones we may see in video games, but believe it or not, there is a category called scout rifles. We've also prepared a Wikipedia article for you guys to learn more about that. If you're interested, you can find that link in the description below or see a small screenshot shown right here on the screen, giving you a description of what a scout rifle is. Scout rifles are usually shorter barrel sniper rifle or bolt rifle guns. Notably, you can see some of the famous manufacturers such as Steyr and Ruger producing some of the more notable scout rifles out there. Believe me when I say this is not the first short form factor scout rifle or sniper rifle, however you want to put it. There's actually been another one out there on the market before, namely made by our friends over at Silverback, their short scout version of the SRSA-1 bolt action sniper rifle. While there are glaring differences between this one and the AS-01, let's talk about some similarities. And by that, I mean the color scheme that they have and they share together. The AS-02, just like the AS-01, comes in four different colors. Comes in the green, as you see here, a tan, a gray. Does it come in black? And of course, everyone's favorite, black. Other than being shorter than the AS-01, now let's talk about some of the external differences that this one has to its predecessor, starting with the front end of the gun. This one features M-lock attachment points for your accessories on the three, six, and nine o'clock, right here on the bottom. Now to the middle portion of the gun. Some of you guys who are familiar with the AS-01 platform or have used it yourselves will now see notable differences between this and that previous version. Let's start with the magwell. On the AS-01, you see that it had two lips coming out like this, and it really had to make you line up that magazine just right before you can insert it. This one, the magwell is cut very nicely and it's slightly, just slightly flared for you to easily line up and load that magazine in there much easier. Moving from there is the trigger, and here is where Amoeba has talked a lot about in their promotional and informational materials about this gun. Now this trigger is a polymer trigger, and it also features a trigger safety, as you see here, much like on some of the modern pistols, as you can see. Now, it does feel a little different, and it takes some getting used to. I'm sure it won't distract too much from the shooting experience, but it's definitely an interesting feature, to say the least. On the trigger guard is also the magazine release as we have seen previously on the AS-01, albeit it's a little bit smaller, as well as the paddle right here for you to release the magazine as well. The magazine release feels a little bit easier to depress than the AS-01s. I remember that one was a little stiff to begin with. Now the action is that same action you get from the AS-01, which is a short throw, and they seem to have upgraded their handle here with this knob. Now, you can remove it by screwing it on and off, and I'm sure you can find other accessories that you can attach to this. I also quite like this larger knob up top, and you can grab it nicely and manipulate the action very easily. From there, Ooh, that action is crispy. Very nice. The gun does come with an indicator letting you know it's ready to be fired, as you can see right here. Mm, that trigger is also very interesting. Can't wait to shoot it. More on that later on in the video. Now let's talk about the rear portion of this gun now. The grip angle, just like its predecessor, very nice. Good angle to grip at, no complaints. 
Now, the stock area, this rear portion of the gun, I do wanna spend a little bit of time talking about. It has a larger cheek riser than the previous, and it really provides a much more comfortable cheeking experience. The butt pad here, again, it's a little hard, but it's okay, it's not bad. It has a small lip up here to really help you have that stick in the pocket of your shoulder. And it comes with this metal rest, shoulder rest. It allows you to rest it on your shoulder a little nicely. And while you're aiming this flat like this, it's quite comfortable. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to factor in when we shoot the gun later on. Internally, they made a few modifications to improve it, making it just as reliable as the old AS-01. One of the main features that they talk about is making the sear and lever both 90 degrees. I think this really will help the shooting of the gun. Some things they didn't change, which is good because don't fix something that isn't broke. They have also kept the same easy adjustment style for the hop-up found right here at the front of the accessory rail. Now, I won't be a proper Amoeba sniper rifle if you wouldn't be able to accessorize this just like you would accessorize the previous version. And just like that one, you're gonna be able to do just that as soon as all the accessories roll out. As a final point, the outer barrel is threaded with a 23 millimeter counterclockwise thread. So later when they have different muzzle devices, you can definitely swap this one out for something cooler if you want. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs. Here we are at lovely W28, and I'm about to take the AS-02 sniper rifle for a spin. We have a target set up down there, and uh, let's see how this guy fares and how it holds a group. I am going to use this stabilizer, see if it helps. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. There is a bit of wind out. So it might affect a couple of the shots. I am using 0.2 gram BBs. All right, I am not using this brace. Oh, much better. Oh, I love that action. It's really smooth. Love the short stroke. Didn't adjust the hop up out of the box, but it's shooting like a laser beam here. Oh, I can shoot this thing all day. Oh, I love this action. See if I can hit Quake right in the face. Let's take a look at those results. The gun shot quite well, being such a short barrel bolt action sniper rifle. Very accurate. I've only used 0.2 gram BBs, so when we had a bit of a breeze, some of the shots were a little off. But if you use a heavier gram BB, I'm pretty sure this thing will hit center mass or your target whenever you pull that trigger. I'm very impressed. One thing I do have to say though, the knob right here does come loose a little bit. So if you do like this, put a little bit of glue in there, some Loctite and you're basically set. Once again, it's that part of the video where I recommend you guys to go check out a video that we've done before and I'm definitely gonna recommend you to pause this Take a look at our AS01 video that I did some time ago. You can find that video in the description below and of course in the card above. And I know, I know, I know. To that one guy in the comment section who said you can't find where the card is, let's make this really obvious. There it is. I really hope this helps you. Dude, bro, guy, you know who you are. 
Now we're gonna be starting pre-orders for this gun extremely soon, so you know where to keep it locked at www.revelfarishoff.com. And I always wanna know your guys' thoughts about guns like this. What do you guys think about scout rifles? Would you use one? And where do you think this fits in in the pantheon of bolt guns and sniper rifles out there? Let me know all that in the description below. I'm Mark, AK Blue Steel. I'll catch you guys on another episode of Revel TV. Have a good one, guys.